Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to transfer money using YONO SBI app. So if you have not installed the app already, you can install it using Apple App Store or Google Play Store. And also if you are an existing user, I'll suggest you to open your App Store or the Play Store and check if there's any pending update for your YONO app. Anyways, then you can just open the app and then you will have to log in using your M pin or the username. Now to transfer the money, we have to tap here which says YONO pay. Now there are various different ways through which you can transfer money. If you want to transfer quickly to someone's account without having to register the account, then you can use the quick transfer. But also you have to keep in mind that you can transfer only up till 25,000. Then you can use Bheem UPI. But anyways, I'm going to use the bank account transfer. So I'll just tap on it. Now, if the account that you want to transfer the money is already added here as a beneficiary, then you can choose the name of that beneficiary from the list. But in case you are going to transfer money to someone whose account details are not added as a beneficiary, then you can tap here which says pay a new beneficiary. Now you have to enter your internet banking profile password because you are going to access your profile to add a beneficiary. So I will just quickly enter my profile password and then just tap on submit. Alright, now you can see we have three options here. First option is in case your beneficiary is also a SBI account holder. In case your beneficiary is not a SBI account holder, then you can tap on the second option. And also you can pay using the beneficiary's mobile number in case beneficiary is having MMID. So I'm going to transfer the money to a account which is not in SBI. So I'm just going to tap here which says other bank. All right. Now we have to enter the detail of the beneficiary. So I'll just add the details quickly. The first one is self explanatory. It's just the name. So you have to enter the official name of the beneficiary. It should match the name which the person is using with his or her account number so that during the verification, the name and the number matches. And then you have to enter the account number of the beneficiary. Then you will have to re-enter the account number. Then after that you will have to enter the IFSC code. So this is the branch. If you are having problem searching for the IFSC code, then you can take the help of Google. That will be the best way to search for IFSC code. And then after that you will have to enter a maximum limit. So this limit means this will be the maximum amount that you can transfer to this beneficiary account. So you will have to enter the maximum limit here. So let's say I will say 50,000 and then you will have to enter a nickname for this beneficiary. All right, then you have to tap here on next. Now you can transfer the money and also you can edit the account from which you are making the money transfer. So if you are having multiple SBI accounts, then you can tap here on this arrow and your SBI accounts will be displayed in a list and you can choose from the list the account from which you want to make the money transfer. And also if you want to verify whether your money is going to the correct account or not, then you can click here on this eye icon and you can see and check the account number. And once you have verified it, then you will have to select a purpose for this transfer. And since you are making the transfer immediately, you can only make a transfer up to 25,000. So once you are ready with all the details, you can tap on pay. Now on the next page, you can just verify all the details. And then after that, you will have to tick mark. I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and then tap on confirm. Now you are going to receive one OTP on your registered mobile number. So just quickly enter that OTP. Once you are done, just tap on next. And after that, you will get a confirmation message which says transaction is successful. You have paid whatever amount that you have chosen. 
to the nickname that you have given to your beneficiary so you can just tap on ok and then let's check out the beneficiary that we have added just now you can just search for the beneficiary and the beneficiary name is here but as you can see it is showing inactive account because we have just now added the beneficiary and for the activation of the beneficiary it takes few hours so after few hours your beneficiary will be activated for now that is all so i hope you were able to understand how to make transfer to an account which is not already added as a beneficiary in your sbi account and also we have not used the quick transfer method because if you use the quick transfer method then you will have to enter the details of the person you want to send money to again and again every time you try to make the transfer that's all for this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching